Hello and welcome to Infinity. Let's have a look at some tips regarding selection. So here we've got a guess where? Yes, that's right, Venice, of course. Suppose we wanted to select this pole for some reason, just something nice long and straight. If we went in here and said, well, let's go to the selection brush and make sure it's add mode here. Maybe add to selection and that's OK. And then we'll reduce the side of this brush to paint inside this. It can be a bit tricky keeping the brush in because you try to watch both sides and you're looking one side to go in and all of a sudden you're going out the other. So an easy approach when you want to select something narrow like this is rather than try to select it all in one go like this, is to do it one side at a time. And the way to do this, let's just deselect that and we'll increase the size of the brush here, turn off, snap to edges, and then if we paint down here over the brush, doesn't matter if we're waving about a little bit, and now we just want to take away those bits at the side. So maybe we can do this with snap to edges here with subtract, which you could always leave it on add and always hit alt to reverse that. But now I'm just paying attention to this one side. I just want to get this up here. And see, I, I know it's a lot easier because I don't have to worry about two sides at once. So there we go. So we can do like that and similarly down the other side. You can even just click, make one click at a time rather than doing multiple clicks. And reduce the size of this perhaps to get into those details. If you're finding that you can't, it's not, there's not enough contrast difference like this little bit, we can take the snap to edges off, off, or I can hold down the control key. Because when I hit hold the control key, it acts as if the snap to edges is already being taken off. So that's a shortcut. So control here. See, it is just lets me paint by hand without it trying to me worrying about snapping to edges. And I can paint down here like this. Another thing I can do is use the quick mask, which is up here or just hit Q. Now I can see here a bit more clearly what's selected and what's not. But now I have to paint like a mask in black and white. So if I click the paintbrush tool, first of all I've got black here. When you've got three circles like this, that means the brush is too big. So I come down to something a bit smaller. And if I go over it, I can see here I'd be painting red. So I do want to paint red, but I, don't, I want a hard edge against this. So I want the hardness to be right up. There we go, just make that 100. So now the edges are going to be hard. So if I reduce that down there, I can see where I'm painting perhaps a little bit more if I want to do things by hand. So I can always do a refine selection afterwards if I'm a bit worried about how clean this edge is, but I wouldn't do that if I just wanted to do a hard edge. See? So we can paint like that and hit Q again or just there to make that a little bit cleaner. If you want to get into real detail, you can get very close. The reason it's looking black like this is because we've got the brush on. Let's just turn it to something else so we don't get that, that funny effect. If you go really close, you can see how tricky this edge really is. So if you want to be super accurate and you don't always need to be that so, then you can go in again and do it one little bit at a time. So for this I'd take snap to edges off, make sure I've got subtract selected, turn this all the way down and do it kind of one pixel at a time like this. It takes you longer but you get a more accurate result. So there you go. Our first uh, real tip there is when you want to select something that's small or narrow, um, select outside the thing first and then cut away the bits at the edges. 
use quick mask as well to get into the detail thank you very much for watching